Hey everybody, there's a lot of OGL stuff going around and I thought this was a good opportunity to talk to you about a game that I love, Dungeon Crawl Classics. Now, my love of Dungeon Crawl Classics as a tabletop RPG is fairly well known. Uh, it's, it's a running joke on many of my live streams that uh, we all take a drink when Jordan mentions DCC because it will inevitably happen. Uh, and in given that a lot of people are interested in, in non-Dungeons & Dragons RPGs, suddenly, I thought it would behoove you to tell you how easy it really is to get into Dungeon Crawl Classics and that you might really like it. If you enjoy uh, sitting around on your table and dungeon crawling and not taking things too seriously and having a good laugh when weird gonzo things goes wrong, then DCC is probably the game for you. If you are into heavy role play and character arcs and awesome things like that, this might not be the game for you, but I would also argue that Dungeons and Dragons doesn't really do the whole character arc thing as well as other games. So keep it with an open mind. Now I will say that this book can look a little intimidating because it is very, very large. The fact is, is that they have separated, uh, they did not separate the player's guide from the dungeon master's guide from the monster manual. So it's all of the books combined, which is a large, thick, heavy book that can be difficult to reference here and there. There's a big community out there that have made uh, various handouts and downloadables and things like that that help players get into this because, well, it can feel intimidating. The core mechanic of the game is a d20. You roll d20, you add some bonuses, you see if you hit a challenge or a difficulty rating, and then if you uh, meet or go over, you succeed. Character creation is really simple. You roll 3d6 down the line. But here's the thing, is it even says this in the book. You can go the DCC route where you kind of make underpowered characters and roll 3d6 down the line and see what happens, or you can do 4d6 drop the lowest and put your stats where you want. You can roll randomly to choose your starting character or your background, or you, you could pick it. There's nobody stopping you from playing a certain way. And I found some players really love the randomness of it. And I've found other players really want to pick and kind of make a build in a way. You can do that. You can roll randomly for your wizard or clerical spells, or you could pick the ones you want. If you're still hesitant about character creation, you don't know where to start, DCC makes scratch off character sheets. These are all just like scratch off sheets, like your lotto tickets, but everything on there, your occupation, your lucky roll, your strength, your agility, all of that stuff is randomly here and you just roll for it, or you don't roll for it at all, you just scratch it off and you have your level zero character ready to play your first session. If you have a group that are a little hesitant about Dungeon Crawl Classics, the best way is to pick up a level zero adventure and four or five of these and have your players sit down and start playing. If somebody dies at the table, if one of your characters die, you give them a new scratch off sheet and you go. Dungeon Crawl Classics is made by a company called Goodman Games. This is what they fully support. They made a lot of adventures in the 3.5 era, and then as 4th uh, edition hit, they kind of transitioned into making um, a game that felt more like old school gaming in their minds. And so the creator, uh, Joseph Goodman of Goodman Games, went through and read a lot of the old books that Dungeons & Dragons was inspired from and wanted to make a game that emulated that. If you go to their website, goodman-games.com, this is not affiliated with me in any way, uh, you can pick up a free starter set PDF that I believe also comes with an adventure. You can pick up pre-made characters from this website as well, or there's also another great website called purplesorcerer.com that allows you to make uh, level zero characters or upper level, like level one and higher characters. So let's go here, tools, zero level party generator, access the generator. We can say, what do we wanna use? Well, I wanna use the core rule book. Do I want elves, dwarves, or halflings in there? I don't want any halfling. Uh, and then we're just gonna go with all of the standard and we'll go. And boom, four uh, level zero characters to start my adventure with. Some of these will die, some of them will live on, and the ones that live on become level one and go on to your next adventure. 
Speaking of adventures, there's so many, and you can pick an adventure from level zero, you can pick an adventure all the way to level six, maybe seven, I believe. Uh, there are continuing storyline adventures. There's adventures for one evening of role playing, and there's adventures for uh, an entire like campaign. I'm currently running Perils of the Purple Planet, which is a big sandbox adventure from levels four to six plus, where uh, players are on a strange, weird world where the sun causes all kinds of radiation damage. And it's kind of a mixture of science fiction and fantasy as they're trying to escape the planet. This is one of my favorite adventures. It's called Frozen in Time. And you play uh, medieval, or in some cases, you could play uh, Neanderthal type level zeros or level one per people. And you're uh, discovering a weird spaceship that seems to have landed. All of Dungeon Crawl Classics adventures seem to come with really fun maps that aren't necessarily meant for the players, but for the uh, judge, the game master, to really understand and articulate what they're seeing. The art is always really kind of a little goofy, but super fun. And it is a just a fun, clear example of a, an interesting dungeon crawl. I feel like you want this in your life right now. So between the core book being uh, very inexpensive, the scratch off character sheet being a great way to start new players. If you have any of your friends that are like slightly interested in trying a new system, but it still feels fantasy and familiar, try Dungeon Crawl Classics. And if you're, if this video has piqued your interest, uh, I have a second channel called Jordan's Jocular Junction where I talk about a lot of the other systems that I enjoy and I have a whole playlist on Dungeon Crawl Classics. I will leave it here and you can go check it out for yourself. Thanks for watching everyone. Go roll some dice and game on.